The holiday season is here with colorful lights and glow and excitement in the air. It's a time for family fun, and we're taking you to the area's best attractions. KPRC 2's Holiday Light Spectacular starts now. Welcome to KPRC 2's oh. Holiday Lights Spectacular. I'm Keith Garvin. And I'm Daniela Guzman. Thank you so much for joining us as we grab our oh, warm cup of hot indeed. cocoa. Cheers, my friend. Yes, Moody Gardens, they hooked us up just a, a couple seconds ago, as a matter of fact. So <laughs> we have an, right on time. And a great spread of cookies. <laughs> yes. We are kicking off the holidays with Moody gardens of Galveston where you can really feel the holiday spirit here the colorful lights and it's a little chilly it yeah, feels yeah. like the holidays it definitely feels like the holidays out here there's families out yeah. here they've been here for a couple of uh, hours now and this has been going on mm -hmm. actually for a couple of days yeah, yeah big year here at Moody Gardens as a matter of fact with the return of Iceland. So exciting. yes yeah it's cold in there but <laughs> that's where KPRC 2 chief meteorologist Frank Billingsley and our sports director, Randall McElvoy, they are staying cool tonight. What's up, guys? Oh, they got the park is oh. on. It's chilly. Yeah, it's a little chilly. I'm forecasting <laughs> very cool tonight. <laughs> oh, look at their noses. <laughs> yeah, Frank, you knew this was coming, buddy. I think, I'm sure you did, if anybody did. <laughs> right, right. At least all the rain got out of here, and now we're just <laughs> yes. left with freezing cold temperatures. <laughs> we'll get through it, though. We right. will. We're going to check in with you guys in just a little bit. Also, our right. KPRC2 Today team is at the Houston Zoo for the TXU Energy Presents Zoo Lies, and we're going to be checking in with everyone in just a moment. Iceland, as we mentioned, is back at Moody Gardens for the first time since the pandemic. Yeah, it's very exciting to have it back. This is such an awesome family tradition for here for Houston. Houston. But uh, we also find KPRC2 Chief Meteorologist Frank Billingsley, Sports Director Randy McElvoy. We saw them in a little bit. They're in the Caribbean Christmas where it's really cold. Let's head back out to them. Hi, Randy. Hey, guys. Yeah, this is uh, the theme this year is Caribbean Christmas. But I tell you what, as you can see, Frank and I have parkas on I know, right? along with everybody walking through here. Frank, it's nine degrees it inside nine here degrees, right now. And I, they actually have thermometers posted throughout. Just to remind I've us. Seen, huh? I've even <laughs> seen five degrees in case nine wow. wasn't enough. I know it's yeah. cold in here. Uh, but I'll tell you what, it's a, an amazing array of, of really coral is. and Santa and tree. All of this is ice. It, all of it. It's all ice. They've spent a lot of time preparing for it. They even have an Astros themed area I, inside I know. here. Which and is really cool when you come out here. They even have Shivers Bar we're going to take a look at. Oh, we get to we're visit that. Look at that. Tell, it, took, it took a team from China 35 days wow. to do everything that you see here. Here's a behind the scenes look. Check it out. Grab your gloves. Iceland is back at Moody Gardens with a Caribbean Christmas theme. What we're doing is kind of taking you on an undersea adventure that's all made out of ice. So we've got about two million It's a year-round process that starts in January when colorful blocks of ice are created in Bryan, Texas. A team of 24 ice carvers from Harbin, China, work their magic over 35 days to make blocks of ice into coral reefs, giant ships, and even Shivers Ice Bar. You're going to see a lot of Christmas along the way, so you're going to see Christmas It's just nine degrees inside Iceland, so bundle up for this fan favorite attraction. Iceland has a very special meaning to us this year. It's been two years since when we've been able to present this for everybody, and we're just so appreciative to even be able to bring it. Ah, I tell you what, they do give you these fashionable parkas if you need one. They really do. I they, mean, they, this... they help a lot. My hands are frozen right now. I can tell you oh, that. I know. If we're sitting here on the uh, ice, what do they call these things? The, Whoa. the ice seats. Yeah, look out here. These are uh, ice seats here. You can sit down here and just chill. Yep. Get this that a, this is about the only ice yeah. they want you to touch. Yeah, Most right. of the other sculptures are like, you're going to be on Santa's right. naughty list that's if you right. touch that. But you can sit here. A lot of picture taking going on. Absolutely. A lot sure. of people are making their way through. Yep. Hey, guys, a reminder, uh, you got to bring your gloves out. They're going to help some. I, mean, I can't feel my hands right now, but <laughs> it'll be okay. Also, hot coffee, hot chocolate, whatever you uh, wish to warm you up a little bit. 
but certainly a lot of fun here inside of Iceland. Daniela Keith, let's toss it back to you guys now at the main stage. Oh, it's man. I know, sitting on it, I can imagine it's pretty cold. Yeah, you actually <laughs> might need a seatbelt, it looks like, uh, to keep Frank in that seat. Man, we have some hot chocolate out here yeah. with you guys' name written all over it. So yeah, yeah. Uh, hang in there and come out, and you can warm yeah. up uh, when, you, when you get a chance. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Thanks so much. And by the way, um, we do have crews joining us. A lot of holiday fun at the Houston Zoo as well. Like, it's so beautiful there during the holidays. Oh, my gosh. Those zoo lights are amazing. Yeah. KPRC2, today's own Conflinti and Sophia Ojeda. Speaking of amazing, <laughs> they join us now from TXU Energy presents Zoo Lights. Hey, guys. Hey, hey, my yeah. goodness. It's a little past our bedtime. I make that joke every year, but here we are on a Saturday night, and we're so happy to be with you. Can you believe it? TXU presents Zoo Lights at the Houston Zoo is in its 11th year. I can't believe it. And we are right here in front of Houston Zoo's iconic Reflection Pond. 2022 has been such a special year for the Houston Zoo. They've been celebrating 100 years, guys. Yeah, 100. You go back to 1922. <laughs> Earl the Bison. Yeah. Earl the Bison was the very first uh, resident here at the Houston Zoo. And obviously the zoo has come a long way since then. And so has this holiday light spectacular. It's beautiful. And Jessica Reyes from the Houston Zoo, she's going to let us know what's new at the zoo as TXU Energy presents Zoo Lights. TXU Energy presents Zoo Lights. This is our 11th year of hosting this in our wonderful community. It really has become a beloved tradition here in the city of Houston. We, you know, sometimes see the same families coming over and over year after year. And the exciting part of that is seeing the kids get older, the families expand, and it really is such a great time of year for folks to come out here. During the daytime, you can come, enjoy the animals. We shut down at 4 o'clock, we reopen at 5.30, and it becomes all about the lights. Last year, it was our 10th year. We were bigger, we were brighter than ever before. We're slowly building on that. But new this year, we have something for all the kids and the brave parents, if they dare, to go on the interactive dance floor that lights up with each step. And of course, there's holiday music in the background. We have more animal lanterns that light up our reflection pool. Um, and we have a lot of activities for families, for kids. Santa's back in his workshop, and it's just the best time of the year. I love the Peace, Love, Joy sign over by Cypress Circle Cafe. And this year, um, we have changed it up a little bit, so I'm excited for everyone to see that. If you have any lights that are not working, come by the zoo. There's a box out front. Just drop off your lights. We'll happily take this off your hands. Since the program has started, we have actually recycled 26,000 pounds of holiday lights. And a fun fact is that's actually the weight of two Asian elephants. Yeah, guys, and it's all about the fun and it's all about family. You can hear the excitement here with these lights. And just as Jessica was talking about, when you recycle those holiday lights, you're really helping out in the Houston Zoo's conservation efforts. Yeah, we already have a couple lights out on the trees at home. and Make sure we get those when we take them down <laughs> yeah. and bring them over to recycle. Conservation is at the heart uh, uh, of what the Houston Zoo does and what the zoo is all about. We want to uh, send things over to Anthony and Anavid who are going to tell you a little more about a black bear that was recently rescued. And where are you guys exactly? Good evening. Hey, good evening, Owen and Sophia. We're right next door to Santa's workshop. We're having so much fun. I mean, check out all the beautiful lights. There's so many people behind us. We can't wait for you to meet Claude, the black bear. But first, check out here right behind us all the action. Everybody is waiting to meet Santa. Yeah, so if you come here to this part of the zoo where they have Santa's workshop, what you're going to do is you're going to walk in the room. You stand in a short line. Of course, you get to meet Santa. You get to tell Santa what you want for Christmas. You take a picture. <laughs> And then, of course, your night is made. Oh, yes. So much fun. And we're so excited to continue to show you everything that the Houston Zoo has to offer. But, you know, all of this is just an effort to make sure that we help all the animals across the globe. And the Houston Zoo does such a great job at doing just that. In fact, coming up in about a half hour, we're going to introduce you to Claude the Black Bear. Curious Claude, if you will, who was getting a little too close to campsites in Nevada. And so he just recently got here to the Houston Zoo. He's their latest rescue. And we'll introduce you to him and tell you his uh, fascinating story. Oh, yes. Curious Claude. <laughs> we got to keep these s'mores handy, right? Because yes. Claude might come over and steal these. Just kidding. Um, but, oh. you know, the Santa's workshop is right next door to one of the many s'mores making stations that are sprinkled throughout the zoo. So we're going to go ahead and enjoy this a little bit. Yes. Right? 
Cheers. Hey, listen, if they yeah. were if, if they weren't so many steps away, we'd be right there. I How know. did you get How scores you before get us? Scores? <laughs> yes. Thanks, we're guys. gonna send somebody over there. <laughs> we'll see you guys okay. soon. <laughs> Okay, we're just getting started here at the Houston Zoo, guys. Yes, we are. Uh, we've got a lot more to come, including you're going to meet one of our zoo ambassadors. Straight ahead, Keith and Daniela, back to you guys. <laughs> okay, wow, looks fantastic out there. I love love the zoo lights out there every single we year, guys. We have some more. Well, we have, we're drinking we, uh, we, hot chocolate, that we, is. We got hot chocolate. Making we got that hot clear. chocolate. We're doing okay. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Okay, we have much more coming up. KPRC2 anchor Lisa Hernandez yeah. gives ice skating a try at Discovery Green. <laughs> she did a great job, by the way. Also, we are hopping aboard the Polar Express. So don't go anywhere and stay with us. You're watching KPRC2. Cirque Joy returns this holiday season at Moody Gardens. Prepare to be amazed by acrobatics and jugglers and enjoy the antics of the Puppy Pals, a stunt dog group seen on America's Got Talent. We've got all the details on our holiday event list at click2houston.com slash holidays. Ah, yeah. Welcome back to KPRC 2's Holiday Light Spectacular. Thank you so much for joining us as we kick off the holiday season. Grab your fuzzy socks, your warm blanket, and mm -hmm. come hang out with us. Yeah, if you have a fireplace, you might want to get that thing going, too. <laughs> yeah, we are taking you all around the Houston area to the biggest yeah. and the brightest holiday attractions here at Moody Gardens in Galveston. The Festival of Lights has been running now for 21 years. It is a Houston family mm. tradition year after year. We're so excited to have it back. But we're going to take you around to see things like the animated light display. It's synced to all of our favorite holiday songs. You can also hop on a train ride, go ice skating, and check out Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer in 4D at Moody Gardens Special FX Theater. Kids and adults, all welcome, and they can also ride a sled down the giant Arctic slide inside the visitor center. You're going to find this giant poinsettia tree, and it's a great place to really get some family photos oh, yeah. if you need your, your holiday photos to send out pretty soon. Here's Jerry Hamachek from Moody Gardens to tell us a little bit more. And there's something about coming down to Galveston Island. It's a whole different feel. And when you come to Moody Gardens specifically, we create those special memories. So, you know, the first time your child goes out and ice skates, and the first time you're making s'mores by the fire, just those special memories that you're going to remember for years are created here. So uh, we really hope to bring that for so many families this year. If we could have, uh, so, all right, Moody Gardens Festival of Lights and all the attractions here for their holiday in the gardens are open through January 7th. And on Thursdays, get this, in December, you can receive two for one admission to the Festival of Lights by bringing a non-perishable food item to donate. That's just so great. Yeah. There's so much your family can do right here at Moody Gardens, like the very exciting penguin encounter, which you will have a chance to win a little bit later on tonight's show. Speaking of penguins, yeah. Check out these adorable macaroni penguins, they're called, who were recently born at the Moody Gardens Aquarium. They're so cute. These two chicks hatched in early November. Adorable, right? Oh, without a doubt. Yeah, just about anything that's a baby is pretty cute. But yeah. Yeah. All right, the Galveston Railroad Museum bringing a classic holiday story to life. So you want to get your family dressed up in uh -huh. matching PJs and hop aboard <laughs> the Polar Express. Right at the end of the Strand in Galveston, you can hop on a magical train that takes you to the North Pole. We uh, have taken thousands of people from Galveston to the North Pole in the last four years. The kids really love getting on the train and having hot chocolate and listening to the hot chocolate song, having a cookie, getting to visit with Santa. They get the first gift of Christmas, a bell. They, they just have so much fun. Your experience on the Polar Express at the Galveston Railroad Museum starts inside the depot. That's where the show begins. Well, you coming? Where? By the North Pole, of course. This is the Polar Express. Kids and adults alike can wear their holiday pajamas and enjoy a train ride where the story of the Polar Express comes to life. Part of the experience is riding on a train steeped in history. Our engines are called F-Unit War Bonnets, and they're in the Santa Fe War Bonnet colors. They're from the 1950s, and they're pretty special, our War Bonnet trains. 
The unforgettable train ride ends at the North Pole where kids can have a dance party with Santa and his elves. The kids just love it. We have a food court, cotton candy, hot dogs, adult beverages. Um, it, it's just a fun, wholesome evening in downtown Galveston. Yeah, and you've done some one yes. similar with your girls, so I you know went with it's my, fun. With my girls and the grandparents, and they had a blast. Uh, totally worth doing it. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so tickets to ride on the Polar Express at the Galveston Railroad Museum selling quickly, so you're going to want to get on it. Mm -hmm. We put a link at click2houston.com slash holidays so you can reserve your family's spot on the train. It's an experience they'll never forget mm. for sure. All right, so if holidays and cooler weather makes you feel like ice skating, why not, right? Discovery Green in the heart of downtown Houston is the place you need to be. That's right. KPRC2 anchor Lisa Hernandez gives skating a try, <laughs> lacing up her skates at Green yeah. Mountain Energy Ice at Discovery Green. Hey, guys. Yes, I'm going to do my best not to fall. No guarantees, but we're so excited to be out here at Discovery Green. The ice rink is all set up for you and your families to come out and enjoy and join me with all the details. And since I'm a terrible skater, I'm going to shuffle on over to Stacy with Green Mountain Energy. Oh my goodness. I'm going to hold you tight. Um, thank you for joining us. Yeah. How are you doing? This is so cool. This is literally so cool. Literally so yes. cool. Yes. yes. What can families expect to enjoy this year? All right. So we're back again this year, Green Mountain Energy, helping make this ice happen. So there's renewable. Um, elements all around us here today. The water comes from Kinder Lake, so it's recycled water. The edges of this rink are made from recycled plastic. And of course, everything is powered by renewable energy. You can feel good about it while having a great time. Exactly. Right? Yes. Tell me some of the promotions out here, what kind of deals families can get. So there are all sorts of events happening all season long, but one that I want to mention is that on Saturday nights between 7 and 8, there is skating with Santa. So that is the first three Saturdays in December, but come on out with the family and skate with the big guy. You guys must, must get so much great feedback from people who just love to see this come out every year. We love it, and I think our partnership with Discovery Green is richer than ever. We we bring these opportunities um, in partnership with each other because our mission is the same. So cool. So cool. Tell us uh, the price, the hours, all the good stuff. You got it. So $17 a person. Um, it's going to get you skates and get you out here on the ice. Um, it's a little special treat for Green Mountain Energy customers. Bring that Green Mountain Energy electricity bill. Show it on your phone or the paper version. You'll get $2 off of those skates. Fantastic. Stacey, thanks so much for the info. Info. We aren't the best skaters, but we're going to try and skate off. Shall we do it? Let's do it. Let's do it. Happy holidays. Happy holidays, everybody. We're heading for the railing, yeah? yeah. Uh, say a prayer. Happy holidays. <laughs> Good job with those skates, Lisa. She was, yeah, she was skating. Yeah, yeah. A little bit. It, it was more like scooting <laughs> than skating, but she, she did a great, great job, Lisa. Oh my yeah. gosh, that was awesome. <laughs> All right, and speaking of eyes, we're going to check in with Randy and Frank right now. They're in Iceland here at Moody Gardens when we come back, and they're in the Astro section yeah. a lot to celebrate this year. They're in the World Champion section. There yeah. we go. All right, we love it. We'll be right back. Here are more family-friendly events for you to check out this holiday season. There's a 100% chance of real snow at the Children's Museum of Houston. Kids can play in the snow December 17th through the 28th. And ring in the new year with your little ones at Children's Museum of Houston's Rockin' New Year's Noon. The celebration features a ball drop and a dance party. You can find these events and more at click2houston.com slash holidays. We do have a wonderful spread here of the cookie. Oh my Are we allowed to eat the prop? Well, uh, well, I hope so, because since you've been eating uh, <laughs> you know, most of them so far. All I, right, little hot chocolate. I was afraid that there wasn't going to be anything there left <laughs> when we came out. But I mean, it's so tempting. It is good, though, yes. Thank yeah. you so much for joining us tonight as we show you the best and the brightest holiday attractions here in Houston. That's right. The folks from Uptown Houston hosted their 34th annual Uptown holiday tr lighting tradition. And yes, the Garvin family, we were there. We nice. have a, our oldest daughter has a little something to do with that. Yeah, 300 <laughs> lighted artisan trees lined Post Oak Boulevard in the Galleria. You can drive by and see those throughout the holiday season. It was a it was a fun time. It was you know we know it was wet uh, on Thanksgiving Day, but it yeah. turned out to be a pretty good event. Yeah, for oh, sure. Oh, it is so spectacular there. All right, back over to Iceland to check in with Frank and Randy, and yes. it's still really cold. Hey guys. Hey. Yeah, we're at uh, yeah. outside Shivers Ice Bar. We here. finally figured out a way to warm up. There you go. I'm telling you. Follow us. Here, yeah. Check this out. Let me tell you. This is probably the most crowded part of Iceland. Uh, yeah, people make their way over <laughs> As here. As you're no going to see. It. 
All right, we're going to go right through here. Come on in, John Excuse Hill. Me. All these the folks, line is long here. I uh, know, you can imagine. <laughs> and here we go. Look at this nice selection of, hey, all of these uh, little shots for adults. Everything ice in here. Right? I know, it's a real ice bar. I mean, it's solid ice right here. <laughs> uh, and they have all kinds of things to at least warm you up. Absolutely. Uh, and um, I think it was $12 for one or two for 20. And they got the ice tables here as well. Yeah. Not a, not a bad place. You know, this is where they find the wildlife it's, of it's, Galveston. Is this where it is right here? Well, Moody okay. Gardens is known <laughs> for a lot of what they do for literal wildlife. I want to talk, take folks on a deep dive yep. into the Gulf of Mexico to see what Moody Gardens conservation dive teams have been doing. Take a look. Families know the aquarium at Moody Gardens is a fun place to visit and learn. But behind the scenes, conservation is a big part of the team's mission. We do a lot of work. We've done historical work with uh, the Texas Parks and Wildlife's Artificial Reef Program. And really now where we're growing into is supporting the Flower Garden Banks National Marine Sanctuary, which is uh, areas that are designated for protection similar to national parks um, that are very special places. And we're fortunate to have one off the coast of Texas. It's really a spectacular uh, place for marine life and we're very fortunate that it's one of the healthiest places in the world uh, that still remains and so that's one of the, one of the reasons that we could uh, say it's worth protecting. Their work includes surveys on the reef, marine debris removal, and documenting underwater sights and sounds to learn more about this natural wonder. They also work on lionfish removal efforts twice a year, since the predatory lionfish threatens smaller marine life on the reef. Lionfish actually are, are quite a problem uh, to reefs and reef communities, and so they're one of the few species that is good to remove, and they're even better on the plate. Visitors to Moody Gardens Aquarium can experience a diver's view of the Flower Garden Bank's National Marine Sanctuary. And we're also one of the few uh, aquariums in the country that has an actual Flower Garden Banks exhibit where you can actually see what it's like to be out there. And what you would expect to see are these giant bouldering corals, just a big space of big coral growth and animals cruising through. So um, we've done our best to capture that um, and connect guests to uh, a place that's sometimes hard to get to. You can also see a representation of the flower garden banks inside Iceland at Moody Gardens this holiday season. Okay, and if you're if you're interested in learning more about this, you can do so at the Moody yeah. Gardens Aquarium, and they're going to have a big dive exposition Are in they? 2024. So lots of folks may be interested. Very interesting, to yeah. say the least. Hey, uh, back here on land, uh, so to speak, uh, back in Sugarland, as a matter of fact. Home of the Sugarland Space Cowboys. Fabulous. There. Constellation Field, a great stadium right there. They have turned things into a spectacular uh, light show as well. Let's take a look at how things have developed out there. They're getting bigger and better every year. Take a look. When it comes to lighting up Fort Bend County, look no further than Sugarland's Constellation Field and the Sugarland Holiday Lights. Inside the home of the Sugarland Space Cowboys, it's now become a holiday tradition. Media Relations Director Ryan Posner says it's a fun way for families to kick off the holiday season. I think there's something really for the entire family here. Um, that's kind of what the event is tailored to, you know. Uh, being in Fort Bend County, it's a big family area, so uh, we want to make sure we're a good spot, a good holiday spot for families to come to. When the sun sets each night, the instant transformation begins. In the blink of an eye, this baseball diamond quickly becomes a winter wonderland full of bright lights. The animated tree in the middle of the field, you can't miss it right when you walk in. It's, it's a showstopper. It synced up to music as you watch the light shows. And if you're wondering how many, this year's light tally stands at more than three million. We're one of the best with light shows in all of Houston, um, and that's that's what we want to make sure every year we we up the ante. We add different light displays. This year we added a uh, 40 foot animated tree that actually works towards light shows and stuff like that. It can display our logo. Um, we have a massive Houston Astros logo and a massive Sugarland Space Cowboys logo. It makes for a great photo op as well. Um, every year we're looking to add different stuff. Uh, shout out to our events team here. They do a fantastic job every year adding something new. So if you've been here last year or a couple years before, next time you come out, you're going to see something new, and that and we. We pride ourselves on that. Posner says attendance annually has shown tremendous growth, and while the lights themselves are the big attraction, that's only part of the fun. 
Added 10 themed areas on site, along with holiday shopping, tasty food, holiday movies, carnival activities, and even old St. Nick himself. The Sugarland Holiday Lights are a must on anyone's holiday event list. Like every year it kind of just seems to like grow and grow. I think that's a testament to you know, our, our sponsor, Houston Methodist, and it's a testament to the Houston Astros coming in here and giving us the flexibility to kind of make this event what we want to make it and even bigger and better. All right, great stuff out there at the Constellation Field at Sugarland. Be sure to check it out. They're going to be open for quite a while, even after Christmas. Over 3 million lights now, Frank. That wow. thing has really grown over the years. Nice. Well, cheers to you. Yeah, you too. <laughs> See if Natalie can uh, hook us up back here. Yeah, right? I think Natalie's going to do just fine. <laughs> <laughs> hey, good stuff, guys. We'll toss it back to you outside. We'll see you shortly. Those shot glasses in your hand. Wow, must be. Okay, I think we got the wrong assignment. We, 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 we got our assignments mixed up. Oh, I knew it. All right, you didn't. Cheers to that, too. Cheers, chug, yeah. Chug, chug. I'm kidding, man. Can't chug. We have to talk. Celebrate Hanukkah at City Center on December 20th. Gather for prayer, song, and a joyous time with Rabbi Goldstein. And load the family into your car and take in a stunning holiday light show at the Light Park. They have locations in Katy and Spring. The Trans-Siberian Orchestra is ready to rock the Toyota Center with their holiday classics on December 29th. With so many holiday attractions to see here in the Houston area, we could not fit all of them into the right. show, <laughs> but we've got more holiday fun at click2houston.com slash holidays. Yeah, and now we want to send it over to our friends at the Houston Zoo. Owen and Sophia, how's the crowd tonight at TXU Energy Presents Zoo Lights? <laughs> Hey Amazing. guys, so much fun. Amazing. We're having such a good time. We've got families that are just coming up and saying hello and saying hello to little Jonah here. <laughs> That's right, Jonah the Tenrec. And we'll talk about, well, what Jonah is exactly. Don't call him a hedgehog. <laughs> don't don't uh, call him a hedgehog. But you know, the mission of the zoo, it's all about conservation. We mentioned a black bear who was rescued earlier. And for more on that, Anthony and Anavid are live near Santa's workshop. Yeah, Owen, oh, Anavid and I had the opportunity to meet Claude, the black bear, who was getting into a little too much trouble in campsites in Nevada. Oh, yes. Oh, Claude. Hey, and that's why the Houston Zoo stepped up, rescued Claude, and now he's living the good life. Meet Claude. This four-year-old black bear is one of the newest animals rescued by the team at the Houston Zoo. Being curious was getting Claude into a bit of trouble in Nevada. He got too close to campsites, which became a safety concern for campers and for Claude. It was no longer safe for him to live in the wild um, because he just became a little too accustomed to people and that's not safe for bears or for people. Um, and so we were very happy that we could answer the call literally and uh, had a home ready for him and we got him here as quick as we could. The Houston Zoo partnered with the Association of Zoos and Aquariums and Parks and Wildlife Services to transport Claude from Nevada to Houston. Claude doesn't need to forage for food anymore. He's living the good life in the zoo's black bear habitat. He gets uh, animal care starting first thing in the morning. He gets his breakfast brought to him and they check him in the morning and then we clean and set up his enclosure for him and give him all sorts of fun stuff to play with, interact with. And uh, he really enjoys seeing a lot of people. So he is fantastic for this exhibit. Claude arrived here just about two months ago in September and he's doing fantastic. He's loving his new home. In fact, when he got here, Anavid, he only weighed 160 pounds. And since that time, he's gained 100 pounds and fully grown. I'll get to be about 500 pounds. Wow. And that is just one of the incredible rescue stories here at the Houston Zoo. Among the zoo's new little ones are baby flamingos, Astro and Orbit. You can see Claude learning and growing in the black bear habitat here at the Houston Zoo. And as we mentioned, Claude is just one of the many rescued animals here at the Houston Zoo. In fact, saving wildlife is why the Houston Zoo exists. And the Houston Zoo is always expanding their outreach and conservation efforts around the world. In fact, just last month, I got to travel to the Galapagos Islands with the Houston Zoo. It's part of a television special that we're producing and that is going to air prior to the grand opening of the Saving the Galapagos Islands Habitat that opens in April. I am so jealous. The blue-footed boobies is what I want to see, and you can't miss that. So exciting. And, of course, it's happening very soon, so got to stay tuned. Owen and Sophia.
Okay. Yes, we cannot wait for the special and the exhibit to open. Thank you guys so much. All right, now we want to introduce you to another one of the Houston Zoo's animal ambassadors. Yes, this is Jonah, the Tenric. And to talk more about Jonah is David Suttinger. He's the zoo's night supervisor. David, it's good to see you once again on a, on a beautiful Zoo Night Live special. It's good to be here. Thanks so, for having us. Tell the folks at home about Jonah. He looks like a hedgehog. People keep coming up and saying, "Who's? hey, what's the hedgehog? <laughs> yeah, and it, it's, it's hard because it is part of their name. It's a lesser Madagascar uh, hedgehog tenrec. So it is part of the name, confusing, but they are not related to hedgehogs. Um, again, they're from Madagascar, and there's about 30 different species of uh, tenrecs in Madagascar. Would you say that they are an endangered species? Or are they a common species? Yeah, so they're a species of less concern, but uh, they do have threats like a lot of animals do in the wild. And one of their big threats is kind of deforestation. So loss of habitat can be a problem. Yeah. But David, one of the things we were talking about is how some of the animals do at night with all people ask, hey, with all of the folks and all the lights, how do the animals do? And you found some interesting stuff over the last so many years. Yeah, we've done some studies over the years with the giraffes and zebras, and we've kind of done maps to see see where they're spending their times during zoo lights because the path does go along their exhibits and we've you know haven't given them the opportunity to either go to the back or come up front and a lot of our species really do enjoy being out with the public yeah. it's a totally different vibe here uh, when you come to zoo lights there's so many you know families that are members of the Houston Zoo and you come during the after school or the, but if you haven't been to a zoo lights there's really nothing this quite like it. This is such a good time and Jonah has been such a good sport. I was afraid he was going to jump out at me and Jonah has been behaving. David talk about a little bit about his behavior really quickly. Yeah so you can see he's pretty active and they are nocturnal so that's kind of why he's moving around a lot. Um, in the wild the males are which Jonah is a male he's a solitary species and uh, Jonah is named after one of our animal uh, wildlife ambassadors that does a lot of work in Madagascar. But uh, these guys, again, nocturnal, they can see right here he's eating some mealworms, and so they're primarily an insectivore, but they will eat other stuff, fruits and vegetables, so technically they can be omnivores as well. Well, Sophia noted he was like me at Thanksgiving dinner. He saw that worm and he... <laughs> He did go Jump for right it. At it. A, little, a little aggressive. David, thanks for being with <laughs> us. We you, really David. appreciate it once again. It's, uh, you're always generous with your time and the animals' time, right. too. All right, and Sophia, thank <laughs> you. It looks so beautiful back there. Mm -hmm. And we have so much more holiday of lights to show you tonight. Yeah, Houston Life's Mail Camp is going to take us to Galaxy Lights at Space Center Houston Plus Lightscape at Houston Botanic Garden when we come back. This is the, the Christmas train at Victory Camp. This is our 23rd year. One of the unique things about this is that it's ran almost entirely by volunteers. So pretty much everybody you see over here in the red shirts, they're all basically church members that just decided to volunteer their time. You know, and so we think that's a huge deal because that's something that kind of sets us apart. You know, we, we consider this sort of like a, it's a Christmas event, yes, but it's also something that we consider like an outreach for us, you know, and this is a Christian event. I mean, we talk about Jesus a lot. So if you go out there and ride the train, um, you're going to see the story of Jesus basically unfold in storybook style, like for little kids, you know. And then we also have the Elf Show, and that's put on by our uh, kids ministry over the church with a combination of our student ministry, so our, our youth group and stuff like that. We try to have something for everybody of all ages to do, so that way whenever they are waiting on their train or anything like that, there's a lot for them to do. We just recently added go-karts over there, so that go-kart is uh, like a a la carte type thing if you want to ride. Yeah, you can buy tickets right out there at it. People come from all over. We get people that are from the north side of town, you know, some, some people hour, hour and a half drives just to come out. And it's really cool. We get a lot of really good feedback. Magical Winter Lights has more than 6 million lights aglow. Visit Magical Winter Lights at Houston Raceway Park in Baytown through January 7th. And welcome back to KPRC 2's Holiday Lights Spectacular. Our Zach Lashway, by the way, mm. stopped by the Alley Theater where they've decked in the they decked the trees in the theater lobby. Yeah, it looks beautiful. They've got two new holiday shows for your family to enjoy. Hey guys, happy holidays. We are in downtown Houston at Alley Theater. There is so much to see here, including this beautiful exhibit called Deck the Trees. But I know you did not come here just to see the trees. You also came to see a show, maybe two. Joining us now is Managing Director Dean Gladden. Dean, happy holidays. Happy holidays and welcome to the Alley Theater. This is our big season. This is when the largest attendance comes. You know, it's the holidays. It's so much fun. So listen, when you walk into the theater, the first thing you see 
the exhibit Deck the Trees. Tell me all about it. So we started Deck the Trees, oh my gosh, about 15 years ago. And, and basically the whole lobby is, is decorated with designer trees and it's fabulous. In fact, it's, it's been so popular that not only do we do it at the alley, but we also have an exhibit all at George R. Brown. And you can go down to Discovery Green and George R. Brown on the Avenida and see all the trees down there as well. But here, the Christmas Carol is running uh, um, all through uh, the month of December and the end of November, so it is uh, the holiday treat for everyone. Not only do we, uh, not only are you showing the Christmas Carol, you're also showing a Texas staple, a show based on a Texas staple. It is, it is. It's called What a Christmas. It's an adult comedy that's downstairs for those adults that want to see something a little, a little different. Um, all about uh, um, a gal who's working at, at a famous Texas fast food who is visited by four ghosts. And you can kind of guess where that's going to go. And it's pretty fun. It's very fun. So we've got that show downstairs and then upstairs, The Christmas Carol. This, this is a new version. We're, we just spent uh, two and a half million dollars on, on doing this. It's a spectacle. So you won't want to miss this and bring your whole family. You know, this is tradition for so many families during the holiday season to go and see a show. What does this time of year mean to you? Well, it's special to me um, because I've been in the theater all my life. So my kids, we, we would bring our kids to Christmas Carol. And this Christmas Carol, my grandchildren are coming for Christmas Carol. So my kids have all grown and, and, uh, they're, and they all live in New York City and they're, and they're in for the first time in three years. So they're gonna see Christmas Carol and so we're very excited. A very special time of year, uh, regardless of the year, but extra special this year. Yes, very extra special. For more information, where can people go? You wanna, you wanna get your information at alleytheater.org, www.alleytheater.org theater.org. Dean, happy holidays to you and, and to you. happy holidays to you at home. We're going to put all of this information on our website, clicktohouston.com. Danielle and Keith. All right, our thanks to Zach. And hmm, I wonder what burger chain, <laughs> what a Christmas might be about. What a Just, take a guess. <laughs> I think I have some pretty good ones. All right, now we want to get to Houston Life reporter Mel Camp takes us to two more of the area's top holiday attractions. We're talking about Galaxy Lights at Space Center Houston and Lightscape at the Houston Botanic Gardens. Take a look. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Do you like the light? Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! And Reliant is thrilled to help families make happy memories at these wonderful holiday light displays. Do you like the lights? So, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> at the Houston Botanic Garden, Lightscape is a one-of-a-kind experience. So we're really excited about our new partnership with Houston Botanic Garden and this year's Lightscape. Lightscape is internationally acclaimed. It's got um, an immersive art experience. Food and concessions are directly behind the signs at the lit tents, and when you're ready to enter the trail, you'll follow the sidewalk around, and just beyond where it's red is where you will go into the trail. We're glad to have you. Welcome. Favorites like the Winter Cathedral, Neon Tree, and Fire Garden are back. In the way that they have a barcode so that you can find out every section where you go to, it tells you what it signifies, and so that is really the truly beautiful piece of all of it. It all means something, which Christmas and the holidays is all about. A meaning and family and things like that. So it's great. Night. Night. <laughs> there are also new creations which you can see for the first time including a stunning blue bonnets display which is unique to Texas. I found the blue bonnets. <laughs> Makes everything blue. What has been your favorite part of Lightscape? Uh, the music, the lights, the people. Okay, got there it. Go. Right there, right there. <laughs> okay, this might be my favorite. Woohoo! It's got all the colors of the rainbow. Honestly, this is the most beautiful way to explore the Botanic Gardens and celebrate the holidays. If it's a chilly night, there's marshmallows for toasting. 
I was going to say what's been your favourite part of the night, but I'm thinking maybe this. This is probably the best. Yeah. Because we're going to eat sweets and treats. Need we say s'more? And no matter the weather, at Space Centre Houston, they've got you covered with outdoor and indoor exhibits. You know it, Galaxy Lights presented by Reliant is out of this world. We're so excited to be here in Space City and have a space-themed Galaxy Lights. And every year we add something new and we have this year. In fact, it's the most technologically advanced light display in Texas. For the first time ever, you and your family can experience the deep space backyard. You walk underneath the stars and take photos alongside astronauts exploring space. You can also catch the new Crystal Fireworks experience, one of only two in the world. It comes to life on a 40-foot tall cascading light display. We are always looking for ways to engage the public around space exploration because STEM learning is so important and essential to our current economy and into the future. Galaxy Lights has something for everyone, but it's especially fun and interactive for families. The kids love the light-up pads where they can go and step and everything lights up. This is made of 290 multicolor platforms under the wing of the historic shuttle carrier aircraft. But wherever you look, it's delightful and inspiring. Houston is hometown to Reliant, so it's only natural that we would power two of the most amazing celebrations in the city. Merry Christmas! Happy Merry Holidays! Christmas. All right, sign me up. I'm yes, there. My goodness, that looks, that looks awesome. cool. All right, go refill your hot chocolate. We'll be right back after the short break. We're going to head back out to our crew as Frank and Randy join us here. We're going to head back out to the Houston Zoo just one more time to Owen and Sophia. Hey, guys. Do you want Randy? Hey, Frank and Randy look a lot warmer now than they did a couple <laughs> yeah. minutes ago, guys. Sure. <laughs> All right, we're just hanging out, having a good time here. Talking about the food, right? Yes, Jackie Wallace, what have you done this year with these French fries? Oh. Yana's and I stole a bite we yes. weren't supposed yeah. to. <laughs> They made them, you made them stay pretty, so that's really helpful. Um, this year, the star food attraction at Zoo Lights is these funnel cake fries. Let me get We've got several way. versions here. Anthony, I don't know which one you tried, we'll but we've got, the, we'll we'll got the oh, caramel apple okay, over caramel here. Apple. Whoa, whoa, what are you oh, calling that? Banana. Banana. Showing what we had already. Oh, very banana. Yeah. Cookies and cream, and then traditional, and they are incredible. They'll warm you up. We also have hot chocolate. Okay. Could be spiked, could not be spiked, depending if you're over 21. Sophia, what do you got there? The spiked or the non spiked? I plead the fifth. She takes the fifth. <laughs> We've also seen some of our s'mores as well. So you can um, purchase s'mores and fire them up over an open flame. Keep you nice and cozy. Oh my goodness. There's so much to do, so much to see. I mean, do we all agree the zoo is so much different during zoo lights? Yes, it's gorgeous. It's incredible. The best, it's such the best. A good yeah. deal. You just well, come out here with the family and enjoy. So, from all of us at the zoo, uh, we'll see you in the mornings, guys. Yeah. Toast, salud, and yeah. Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays to each and every one. Cheers, guys. You killed too much. Awesome. Cheers to you guys. We yes. have our all right, hot guys. chocolate. Without and, a doubt. Uh, wait, we, we cannot. We have to give Randy and Frank their hot chocolate. Yes, yeah, I mean, it's go. probably ice we, chocolate We saved now. this yeah, for you guys. It's been Thank sitting you. out for a little bit. <laughs> Cheers. This doesn't have Baylor's yeah. Irish cream in it, but I'll <laughs> yeah. take it anyway. Exactly, That's yes. after the show, Frank. <laughs> hey, and by the way, a little scoop here. Next year, mm -hmm. Iceland's theme, of course, it's the Caribbean Christmas this yeah. year. Mm -hmm. It's going to be uh, uh, rainforest next year. Okay. And there's a little preview at the end of it with the waterfall and parrots and so nice. it will go from Caribbean to Amazon. Okay. <laughs> you know, keep, Rainforest. Keep, keeping it tropical. I will say, I mean, we, we experienced the nine degrees in there and, and we, we emphasize, wear the gloves. You got to wear the gloves. Yeah. You know? Okay. And, if you have uh, gloves for your toes, yeah, yeah, wear those. That would be helpful as well. <laughs> that cold? My a, toes are still cold. It's a great experience though, man. And Frank, you've been in there before and yeah. that was my first time in there, but uh, the folks are having a great time. They have a bar in Moms, there? Moms, dads, awesome. the kids are all having fun. I was going to say, yeah, let's talk about the bar. Um, <laughs> yeah, we hit that at the end. It was, it's there. It's in there. Well, it's like, you know, you're going to talk about it. You got to experience what it's like. Oh, he's right? lowering his words. How many shots did you get? <laughs> <I'm kidding. laughs> it's a lot of fun. Oh, yeah, great! Good. Thank you nice. guys so this much for joining too, us tonight. Yeah. 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 Did you guys have fun? Mm -hmm. Now we get to walk around. There's millions and millions of lights out here to see. Yeah. Yeah. S'mores, hot chocolate, 
they, they've got it all. I mean, yeah, if you if you want to get your holiday kicked off uh, just right, yeah, come on out here, either here or go to Peace the zoo, zoo, one or the other, and all the other places that we have. Yeah, we I mean, they all were that. fantastic. Well, the Sugarland Exposition. That as well, yes. Oh, that was fabulous. Yeah, all that, yeah three, all the what, 3.5 million lights Space out Cowboys. there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. When, they, when it first started, what eight or nine years ago that like and they were like yeah. 350,000 lights I mean which was really nice <laughs> yeah. but this thing is increased yeah. every single year now and it's a, a record for them I'm excited to go million. back I went a couple years they're ago they're getting great crowds out there that's yeah. great yeah we had a really yeah. good crowd out here as well I mean it, it yeah. is a little chilly but I mean and that gets you into the holiday feel just a little bit more I think. I've been out here when you know it's that. warm and yes yeah. in our, when it's our, raining in our KPRC yeah. ice block was melting <laughs> you know so uh, so no it's nice to have a little crisp yes. air I, you know I came to the very first festival of lights wow, was okay. 21 years ago yeah because uh, we first bought our our first place here in 2000 and then we started building and so right. uh it was 2003 that we finally had our first house here mm -hmm. uh, and it was i want to say maybe as long as a football field that was about about 100 yards yeah, that was it. and look at them now yeah, yeah. yeah and you know they wrong. got hit hard by ike mm -hmm. yeah. eight feet of water throughout where i mean as high as we're sitting was water and it, of course all the electrical outlets got ruined yeah. so they had to recover from that but they, they obviously did, did. They did an awesome it's, job. It's, yeah. you would never know wear comfy no. shoes there's a lot of walking there is yes yeah wear a nice jacket because it's probably going to be pretty chilly at night now without a doubt days, without yeah. a doubt yeah but again it makes it makes it feel more like the holidays anyway yeah, was so this awesome. a great turnout tonight or yes. what my goodness outstanding yes. crowd yeah we got the yeah. fire pits back here people are making some more yep. it's, it's been pretty awesome exactly and it's been just great hanging out with you guys and with you at home Thank you so much for joining us tonight for the KPRC 2's Holiday Light Spectacular. You can find all of the events that we mentioned and we showed you tonight on our website, click to Houston.com slash holiday.